that spells it a champion two times. She gains movement speed. Um, it doesn't include the fact that she also heals off these abilities, so she will heal a portion. Her W, she summons three orbs that attract to the nearest enemy, um, and I think it prioritizes champions. I could be wrong on that. I'm not an RE expert. Um, I don't play I think I've played maybe three games of Ari my entire time playing League of Legends. Her E is another straight line projectile where she shoots and if she hits an enemy, it charms them, forcing them to walk towards her for a brief period. It's very useful with catching people out and it synergizes well with her mobility as you'll see with her R. She dashes individual dash, a bolt of energy shoots out at the nearest enemy champion, and it can be cast three times with a very, very brief period in between, so it's very, very good for mobility, for roams, and for catching people out. Now, overall, Ari is a pretty, I'd say right now she's very balanced. Uh, she's not super difficult the sense that her kit is simple, but she's also not super powerful. She's also not super weak. Uh, I'd say she's kind of just a middle-of-the-road champion, which is, you know, at least it's balanced. Her skins, I don't know a whole lot about her skins, but uh, the skin that I see a lot is Katie Ari. Um, she has a ton of skins. I don't the difference in any of them, to be honest, but uh, I'd guess that uh, Spirit Blossom is my new favorite um, from, from what I've seen, and I've seen this a couple times, but it's mostly the KDA um, skin that you see most often. Um, I actually own this skin, the Midnight Ari, and um, it's just about as bare bones as you get, so if I was going to say a worst Ari skin, it'd probably be the Midnight Ari. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into the lore. Ari, the nine-tailed fox race, is a Vastia. So let's go into her biography here. Ari's origins are a mystery, even to her. She has no clue as to the history of her Vastian tribe, or the place amongst the rest. Save for the twin gemstones she was born, she has worn her entire life. In fact, her earliest memories are of running with ice foxes in the northern reaches of Shanshan. Though she knew she was not one of them, she clearly saw her, or they clearly saw her as something of a kindred spirit. Abruptly 
subtly pushed his emotions from fear to sorrow to joy and comforted him within visions of a sun-soaked meadow as he died. Afterward, she found that a human word now came to her easily, like something from a half-remembered dream, and Ari knew the time had come to leave the back behind. Keeping to the fringes of society, she felt more alive than ever. Her predatory nature remained, and she was caught up in a riot of new experiences, emotions, and customs across Ionia. Mortals, it seemed, also became fascinated by her in return, and she often used the steward advantage, draining their essence while charming them with recollections of beauty, hallucinations of deep longing, and occasional dreams colored by raw sorrow. She grew drunk on memories that were not her own, and accelerated in ending the lives of others even as she felt the grief and woe she brought to her victims. She experienced heart blood, heartbreak and elation and tantalizing flashes that left her craving more. She wept at the images of brutal invasion, invaders from the faraway land of iron and stone. It was overwhelming, but she sensed her own power fading she tried to stay away, and could not help but partake again and again as much as it pained her heart to do so. Through countless stolen visions, Ari began to glimpse more about the Vastia. It seemed she was not alone, even with many tribes now having somewhat troubled relationships with mortals. Eventually, she learned of a rebellion aiming to restore their people to some kind of former glory. This, perhaps, was the link to a past she could not remember. With the twin gemstones in hand, Ari has set out in search of others like her. No more will she rely 